Life on planet Earth is not weirder than we imagine. It's weirder than we're capable of imagining. And we're all in it together. Appearing in what English naturalist, geologist, and biologist Charles Darwin called endless forms most beautiful and most wonderful. Looking pretty amazing. Wow. These next videos feature some of the most remarkable and memorable locations around the globe. And we get to see it up close. And it's weirder than we could have ever imagined. 15 places the Earth acts in strange ways. Number 15. Quicksand. It's been used in movies and television, the old death by quicksand storyline. But did you know that people don't usually drown in it? You can definitely get trapped and become vulnerable to heat exhaustion, hypothermia, or other dangers of the elements. Quicksand is a mixture of solid particles like sand and water. So, when water floods into a sandy area, it forces the sand particles apart, and the result can be patches of mysterious quicksand. Although quicksand doesn't continue to pull you right under, it's the being stuck part that's an issue. Once your legs are stuck, a vacuum effect so strong is created that even pulling you out requires the same force needed to lift a car. A high tide can sweep across you, and you drown. But that's a worst case scenario. Once your foot gets stuck through the weight of your own body is what makes you feel like you're being sucked in. So remove any backpacks or gear immediately. The trick is knowing that it's hard to sink if you're horizontal. Lay flat in the mud, and if you have anything else like hiking poles or anything shaped like a flat board, lay across the mud and use it to keep you from sinking in further. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Midnight Sun Like a prolonged sunset and sunrise all at once, this natural phenomenon bathes the earth in a red-yellow light. Welcome to the land of the midnight sun. It's a natural phenomenon that occurs in the summer months in places north of the Arctic Circle or south of the Antarctic Circle when the sun remains visible at the local midnight. If you travel to the Arctic Islands, the sun stays up from April to late August. Here you can do a midnight hike on a glacier, with a guide of course, or watch the reddish sky from a moving dog sled in the unique climate and nature near the North Pole. Doing a whale safari or exploring the wilderness inland takes on a new dimension at night, in the summer months, when you literally get to see nature and wildlife in a different light. If you're not afraid of the sometimes chilly summer nights in the north, you could try a midnight swim or pitch your tent in the wild. Many sites and activities are open at night during these times, so you can go midnight golfing, cycling, river paddling, or sea kayaking, or maybe just find a quiet spot to fish. You can't help but wonder about all the sights and experiences that have been made under the midnight sun through the ages. The phenomenon makes a lasting impression. Number 13. Fly Geyser The Fly Ranch property is located in Nevada's geothermal region, famous for natural geothermal pools. This geyser, known as Fly Geyser, has grown into this unique shape, covered with mineral deposits and thermophilic algae which flourishes in moist, hot environments with hues of green and red. On the edge of Back Rock Desert, this geyser is actually human-made, but it wasn't put there on purpose. It was created more than a hundred years ago by accident. Workers were drilling a well when they stuck geothermal water that was about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. In 1964, a geothermal energy company drilled a test well at the same site. They struck the same water, which was hot, but not hot enough for their purposes. The well was supposedly resealed, but apparently the cap didn't hold. A new, larger geyser emerged. Because the water wasn't suitable for farming, they left the geyser alone. And now, a 10-12 to 12 foot calcium carbonate cone formed because of the water's mineral content. Quite a sight to behold. The geyser is still spewing scalding hot water about 4 or 5 feet into the air. The inside of the mounds even contain quartz. Typically, quartz doesn't begin to grow for about 10,000 years within geysers, which makes the fly geyser even more unique. Number 12. Parting of the Sea The story of Moses is a famous tale among religious folks throughout the world. The miracle of the parting of the Red Sea is the most memorable and impressive part of the story. But do you know that the same miracle happens in Korea every year? Jindo County is an archipelago of 250 islands, of which Jindo Island is the third largest in Korea. 
Every year at the end of February and again in mid-June, extremely low tide causes a natural land pass to appear connecting the main Jindo Island and a small Modo Island to the south of Jindo. The pass stays for about an hour before being submerged again. The event is celebrated by a local festival called Jindo Seaway, when visitors and tourists gather to watch the phenomenon and walk the path in the middle of the sea. Every year, it's a remarkably low tide known as tidal harmonics. During the hour that the sea parts, you can walk in between the two sacred islands. You can hunt for clams and shells on the seafloor and just enjoy being in the middle of the ocean without getting wet. While legend has it that the extraordinary happening is the work of divine intervention, it's really gravitational forces at play. Number 11. Moraki Boulders They occur scattered either as isolated or clusters of boulders within a stretch of beach where they have been protected in a scientific reserve. The Moraki Boulders. Each boulder weighs several tons and is up to six feet tall and formed about 65 million years ago. It's thought that these stones on New Zealand's Otago coast were created by the hardening of mudstone, which was then buried in the mudstone cliffs. And the relentless pounding of waves over millennia has gradually eroded the softer stone and uncovered the compacted spherical stones. Known to some as the Stonehenge of New Zealand, local Maori legend says that the boulders are sacred, mythical remains that washed ashore after a legendary sacred canoe was wrecked nearby. The legend tells of the rocky shoals that extend seaward as being the petrified hull of this wreck and nearby rocks being the body of the canoe's captain. The boulders, according to this legend, are the remains of the canoe's fishing nets. Unfortunately, science is here to prove the Maori legend wrong. These boulders are said to have formed due to the hardening of mudstone which was buried in the mudstone cliffs. Over time, the sea's waves had gradually eroded the softer stone to reveal the spherical formation beneath. Number 10. Lake Hillier. Picture a lake and it's the brightest bubblegum pink in color sitting beside the deepest blue ocean. Lake Hillier is the most extraordinary sight you'll see flying or cruising through the pristine wilderness of this Australian archipelago. Located on Middle Island, a few miles from the coast of Cape Arid National Park, the lake is separated from the Southern Ocean by just a thin strip of sand and it's widely believed that the water's permanent strawberry milkshake color is due to the extremely high level of salinity. This discovery was made as early as 1802, but there's been no definitive proof that salt is the source of its unique hue. Measuring just 985 feet wide and shaped like a footprint, this relatively small feature has a huge impact when viewed from a scenic flight or cruise, and the untouched islands of the archipelago create a stunning backdrop, rich in marine life. Some speculate that Lake Hillier's color, like that of the other lakes, is the result of high salinity combined with the presence of a salt-loving algae species and pink bacteria. Unlike other pink lakes, however, which regularly change colors in accordance with temperature fluctuations, Lake Hillier maintains its pink shape year-round. The water even retains its rosy hue when bottled. Number 9. Gates of Hell In Central Asia, in a vast desert in Turkmenistan, you'll find this fiery cavity in the Earth's crust, a hole that's been on fire for 50 years. This place has the distinct honor of having the official title, The Gates to Hell, and you can see why. But it's actually called the Dervaza Gas Crater. Back in 1971, a drilling rig breached an underground cavern with explosive toxic gases suddenly shooting into the air. It was up to the people who created the hell hole to seal it up, so someone had the idea to ignite the gas and see if perhaps they could exhaust the gas supply in a few days. Cut to 50 years later, the hole itself is over 300 feet wide on a natural gas field. In fact, the entire area has one of the largest gas reserves in the world. Although the crater has captured the public imagination, it's a simple geological anomaly, a superficial gas pocket that allowed the ground to sink into a natural depression, allowing the slowly escaping natural gas from a larger, deeper natural gas field to both accumulate and burn without being extinguished by the wind or rapidly diluted. The gas from similar, smaller gas leaks in the area is rapidly dispersed by the desert wind. And burning ground sites like this are found in other parts of the world as well. Number 8. Jacob's Well Every summer, many choose to escape the scorching heat here by dipping in the refreshing and beautiful spring whose waters stay year-round at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Just an hour's drive from Austin and Hayes County, Texas, lies this natural wonder, Jacob's Well. The spring extends for over a mile below the surface into an intricate cave system. An artesian spring, revered by indigenous communities for millennia, Jacob's Well has been flowing out of a natural underground reservoir known as the Trinity Aquifier for perhaps millions of years. It's the source of the Cypress Creek, but also home to extensive underground chambers. The watering hole, technically a perennial karstic spring, is 12 feet in diameter, and at the time it was found, it was sprouting its thirst-inducing waters up to five feet high. The settlers didn't dive into it, of course, but treated it instead as a drinking fountain and later used it to power a sawmill. They named it Jacob's Well because of its biblical metaphors. Daredevils free dive into the well sometimes as deep as 100 feet, maneuvering the thin openings into the underground cave. Some say it's the trip of a lifetime, but it comes at a cost. Many have died diving into Jacob's Well. It's extremely difficult, something even professionals call a challenging, unforgiving environment. Number 7. Magnetic Hill Imagine this, you're cruising through the foothills of this part of Canada and you descend an incline when suddenly your car starts to go backward. Believe it or not, you've just stumbled onto New Brunswick's most enduring tourist attraction, the Moncton Magnetic Hill. In these mystery spots, what appears to be an uphill incline is actually part of a larger downhill incline misinterpreted by our brains because of the way the slopes are situated, mixed with little or no view of the horizon. Water, balls, and tires appear to be rolling uphill when they're really rolling downhill. This unique optical illusion has captivated residents and visitors since 1931 when newly constructed roads revealed the hill's strange properties and local drivers shared the experience of drifting uphill. Soon, people were coming in from the surrounding towns to see the bizarre phenomenon for themselves and the Magnetic Hill spawned its own cottage industry with thousands of visitors yearly. Many Magnetic Hills are only discoverable by those in the know, but not this one. The hill is a popular tourist attraction, and visitors can find it by looking for the massive magnet sign. Number 6. Dead Sea Salt Located on the border between Israel and Jordan, the Dead Sea is one of the most intriguing natural phenomena on Earth. Aside from some microorganisms and algae, this saltwater lake is completely devoid of life. There's no seaweed, fish, or any other creatures found in or around the turquoise waters. The Dead Sea is one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, with almost 10 times more salt than ordinary seawater. This is because the water flows into the Dead Sea from one main tributary, the River Jordan. It then has no way to get out of the lake and so is forced to evaporate. The soaring hot and dry conditions of this region mean that large quantities of water are evaporated. This leads to the salt and other minerals becoming more and more concentrated. In fact, it's estimated that in the whole of the Dead Sea, there's about 37 billion tons of salt. The high salt and mineral content of the Dead Sea mean that this body of water has powerful healing properties. It's a popular destination for treating skin problems such as acne, psoriasis, and cellulite as well as muscle aches and arthritis. The Dead Sea is therefore the biggest free spa on Earth, drawing both tourists and locals. According to legend, Cleopatra also loved the Dead Sea and used its products as part of her beauty regime. Number 5. Eternal Flame Falls Researchers have discovered that the rocks underneath the Chestnut Ridge County Park aren't hot enough to produce this amount of gas. This means another process is producing the gas that's keeping the flame eternally burning. The flame sits behind a waterfall in western New York. For years, scientists thought it was kept alight by gas produced by ancient, extremely hot rocks. However, it's not. So, researchers are stumped. This flame is said to have been lit thousands of years ago by indigenous populations of the region. Once considered an obscure attraction, media attention and improvements to the access trail have led to an increased number of visitors. And although it burns most of the year, the flame occasionally needs to be relit. There are thousands of flames around the world that are able to burn constantly. Some are kept alight for religious reasons, others were lit in honor of famous people who had died. However, natural eternal flames are rare. In the case of the New York flame, a macro seep of gas comes from a natural hollowed out chamber. Because the gas is contained and isn't converted, the flame is kept alight eternally. Number 4. 
orange skies. A huge Saharan dust storm has swept across parts of Spain and as you can see, everything looks orange. Residents woke up to eerie skies with an orange hue caused by tiny particles of dust that had traveled thousands of miles across the Mediterranean Sea recently from the Sahara Desert. It came after the dust cloud blanketed streets and houses in southern regions. Air quality in areas including the capital, Madrid, and cities Malaga and Seville was rated as extremely unfavorable. The worst rating by the National Air Quality Index. Amber weather warnings were put in place as the red dust, accompanied by heavy rainfall and strong winds, continues to cause poor visibility. The sandstorm caused several cancellations and flight delays at airports too, and people were encouraged to wear face masks and avoid outdoor exercise. Spain's weather service described the dust storm from the Sahara as extraordinary and very intense, while adding that it was unclear if it was the worst episode of its kind on record. A spokesman for Spain's weather service said while it was unclear if climate change had a direct link to this episode, the expansion of the Sahara Desert over the past century has increased the potential for larger dust storms in Europe. Number 3. Mud Volcano Post-apocalyptic is the only way to describe the landscape. Situated just an hour's drive along the Caspian coast, this place is all rock and oozing mud, scars, and craters. Located in the mountains, the Gobustan mud volcanoes are created by the eruption of dirt, water, and gases, caused by the perfect storm of geological processes, and they appeared in this region 25 million years ago. The country's respect for the landmark was made official in 1966 when it was declared a national historic landmark. The region became a World Heritage Site because of its outstanding universal value, because Azerbaijan has the most mud volcanoes of any country. 350 of the 700 volcanoes in the world are right here. Their main danger is their unpredictability. A buildup of pressurized gas in the cone can be released without warning, causing possible asphyxiation, triggering a jet of fire, and drawing a torrent of fast-flowing mud from the volcano. But mud volcanoes are not true volcanoes as they don't produce lava. They do become a major tourist attraction. Plus, mud volcanoes' components can be used as raw materials for the chemical and construction industries, pharmacology, and beauty products. Number 2. Desert Lagoons With large expanses of sweeping sand dunes, this place might appear to be your average desert, but for six months of the year, Linsois Marantetses National Park's crystal blue lagoons turn the arid region into a cool summer hotspot. It's a popular destination, and common activities within the park include night sky observation, sand surfing, canoeing, camping, and horseback riding. The works, a Brazilian paradise. This national park is pummeled by rainstorms from January to June every year. The rainwater collects between the sand dunes, and a stunning landscape emerges, the definition of oasis. The rainwater that collects paints a stunning landscape covered in thousands of crystal clear lagoons. The national park runs along more than 40 miles of coast and stretches inland for another 30 miles. With such a large expanse of sand and nearly no vegetation, it would be easy to assume this park is classified as a desert. However, deserts by definition receive less than 10 inches of rain in a year. This place has an average rainfall of almost five times that. If you can carve out the time to travel to this part of northeast Brazil and spend a few days exploring here, do it! Number 1. Rainbow Mountain There are many reasons to visit Peru, from its diverse natural geography to its cultural festivities and the remnants of an ancient civilization. Millions of tourists flock to the Andean country every year to see the ruins of the Inca citadel, Machu Picchu, but a newly discovered geological wonder was added to the country's list and must-see destinations. Known as the Mountain of Seven Colors, or more simply Rainbow Mountain, it was discovered when the snow covering it melted, revealing the natural beauty of the rock beneath. It's a mountain in the Andes with an altitude of 17,000 feet above sea level. Formed by weathering, environmental conditions, and sedimentary deposits over time, the mountain's unique mineralogy created a marbling effect, with layered hues of gold, lavender, red, and turquoise towering into the sky. No robust methods of transportation to Rainbow Mountain have been developed, but once the mountain's existence was known outside of the local communities, it started attracting locals and travelers alike. First to having a couple dozen people, to now taking in hundreds of visitors a day, 
The mountain used to be covered by glacier caps, but these have melted due to climate change approximately 10,000 years ago. It may sometimes act strange, but the planet Earth is never boring. The world is always changing too, so that means we'll always get more great videos. So stick around for more supreme content.